And for more on the situation in Turkey, I have with me Arna Leeds. He's a member of the European Parliament for the Social Democrats. Welcome, Arna. Now, you've Thank just you. got back here after a couple of days ago from Diyarbakir. First, give me your reaction to this massive bomb blast in the heart of the city. Well, the reaction we have now uh, from the situation on the spot is very dreadful. Uh, we have been there, a group of Social Democrats of the European party family and uh, visiting the town hall, which has been already taken uh, in by their security. Um, as you just have seen the film, the mayors have been put in prison and they were on court on Sunday and restate on court. And therefore there was a, a tension, a rising tension already in the city. And uh, we also met the HDP leader, which got arrested last night. Now, of course, as you said, you met this HDP leader. He is now under detention along with some other leaders of the party. What lies behind their detention, do you think, Arna? Well, the detention has a long path which it took. I have been last time in Turkey in May, where the immunization was taken up by uh, most of the HDP members in the national parliament. So that gave Erdogan the option to now act against them. And he puts everything under the terror laws. And therefore, uh, it's very difficult because he puts every, everyone under the same position, uh, regardless what they do. Academics, journalists, and now the politicians are on a big threat. Uh, and more and more people are now detained. And there are going to be more court situations coming up. And so we are very, very uh, uh, you know, thoughtful about the situation and we have to show solidarity with mm -hmm. these people because uh, Turkey so far wanted to join the European Union. In fact, yeah, there's a lot of concern here about the arrest of these uh, pro-Kurdish leaders. Germany has summoned uh, the Turkish envoy to talk about this. But now the HDP, as you said, is represented in Parliament. It's a pro-Kurdish party. It was one attempt to actually draw Kurds into mainstream politics through parliamentary representation. What impact do you think this crackdown on this party will have on that process? Well, the whole crackdown of the democracy, the democracy is uh, kind of leading up. I don't foresee this anymore as a democracy. It's a kind of upcoming dictatorship which Erdogan has puts up here. Uh, uh, Martin Schulz, the head of the European Parliament, said straightforward, you don't talk about a real democracy when uh, journalists have to fear that they cannot do their work anymore. Now more and more situations are being closed. When I was there uh, on Sunday, even after the interview I gave to the journalists, they were called by their office not coming back because the police just conquered the place. So I've lifted up, or I've seen it myself, being in this conversation and uh, giving an interview. So all together, uh, it's a kind of rising difficult situation for opposition people, mm -hmm. politicians, and what we have seen here with the bomb attacks uh, should not come up. Now, this bomb attack, the government says, was carried out by the PKK, a Turkish separatist group. Is there a danger that these really strong arm tactics against dissidents and opponents could radicalize the people even more and push, say, Kurds into the hands of uh, organizations like the PKK? I would definitely agree with your assumption that this is moving towards spurring up the a spiral of violence, uh, we have to stop that because so far there are already a few thousand people being dead on both sides, PKK but also the security people. But also we talk about already, no one really talks about that, we estimate over a few hundred thousand up to 400,000 refugees of this crisis in southeast of Turkey and therefore that has to stop anyhow and uh, so Erdogan should be very careful and the government not to overdo it. Right. Arne Leeds, a member of the European Parliament for the Social Democrats, a pleasure to have you with us Thank in our studios. Thank you for having me here. Thank you very much.